Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are looking for the crazy ones that want to change the world. This is the fifth qualifier. We have to say thank you to a lot of people for making this event happen. First and foremost, to the IIM Calcutta Innovation Park, uh, without whose mentorship, without his help, Ignite would not have been possible. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank IIM Calcutta Innovation Park for being such a wonderful partner in this event. We also have to thank BSL, our gold sponsors, our associate sponsors, Webel, Fujisoft, Vara, Center of Excellence, and Logthun, and our prize sponsor, the SKC LNCT Group of Colleges from Madhya Pradesh. As I said, we have had four qualifiers before this. Some wonderful ideas and thoughts have been shared. Today, we take a look at three more schools. The Bhavans RK Sharda Vidya Mandir from Raipur, the CRPF Public School from Rohini, and the Indian Language School, Lagos. Can I ask the students to please uh, switch on their cameras? We would love to know you better before we start. I can see that the Zoom virtual background thing, which was my thing last year, has definitely caught on. Uh, well, welcome all of you to this event. The Bhavans RK Sharda Vidya Mandir students, if you could please introduce yourselves. Jaihind, I am Tejas Sharma from class 12 and I am studying sciences. Jaihind, everyone. I am Aditya Pratap Singh Chauhan. I am also in grade 12 and studying sciences. Jaihind, I am Harshit Lalwani, studying in 11th grade in uh, Bharti Vidya Bhavans. I am currently pursuing sciences. Jaihan, I'm Vineet Naran Prajapati, and I'm from Bhavan, studying sciences at 11. Jaihan, everyone, I'm Seha Pangi from 11 sciences. Wonderful, well done team. However, when we are asking you to introduce yourselves, feel free to tell us more than which class you're studying in. We want to know what are your hobbies, what do you like, and what do you dislike. The CRPF Public School, Rohini, would you want to please introduce yourselves? Good evening, everyone. Everybody, myself Shivam Parashar. I'm from CRPF Public School. I'm in 12th standard pursuing commerce. Hello, I'm Hello, I'm saying studying in 12th science science section. Good evening, everyone. This is Samvardhan Tiwari. I'm currently studying in class 11th humanities stream. Glad to be a part of this auspicious competition. Great. I hope I'm audible. Right. I am Anushka from CRPF Public School studying grade 12 and I am pursuing sciences. My hobbies would include reading and a lot more. I am looking forward to be a part of this competition. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much team CRPF Public School. Well, we go across a few continents, the Indian Language School, Lagos. Would you please introduce yourself? Good afternoon to all. My name is Mekha Gopikutan, and I'm a student of class 11. I take a lot of interest in forensic science, and my hobbies would include singing and dancing. Uh, I'm Soumya Shreya. I'm a student of class 11. I'm an aspiring journalist, and my hobbies include listening to music and writing. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Maya Mutwani. I am a student from Indian Language School. I currently study uh, in grade 11 and I'm a science student. My hobbies include playing basketball and playing various other instruments as well. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Prakhar Burgaukar. I am in class 12 and uh, pursuing commerce. I love uh, playing cricket and watching it. Well, Shreyas, would you mind going again? Shreyas, would you mind going again? Shreyas, hi. Uh, sorry, there was a bit of a disturbance on the line. Am Can I you just now? go again? Yeah, you're better now. Uh, Shreyas, your connection is a bit choppy. 
I'm not really. Uh, so, uh, so good evening to one and all. I am Shreyas Rajesh, a student of class 12. And, and so am I audible now? So Shreyas, what's happening is I can hear you in bits and pieces, but then your signal drops. Could you just check the Wi-Fi once? Yes, I just just. Hello. Do you want to try again? Yeah. Uh, sir, am I audible now? Is it better? Yeah, seems to be better. Go for it. Or not. Uh, good greetings to one and all. I am Shreyas Rajesh, a student of class 12. Uh, I am from the commerce stream and my hobbies include playing the guitar, listening to music and reading books. Wonderful. Welcome to ILS Lagos. Uh, my request, uh, we'll go in alphabetical order. So we have Bhavan Sarke Sharda first, then we have CRPF Public School, followed by Indian Language School. If you could use the next 10 minutes, uh, Shreyas, to just ensure that you have the right kind of connectivity, because we wouldn't want your network to drop off while you are answering the judges' questions, right? Wonderful. So ladies and gentlemen, those are the three teams, brilliant students from across the world. And they get judged by equally, if not better, more brilliant judges. We are extremely thankful to IIM Calcutta Innovation Park for providing us with such wonderful, wonderful judges. We have with us Ms. Naomi Ghosh. Naomi is a brilliant strategic planner with proficiency in managing enterprise and channels, identifying prospective clients, segments, developing and expanding markets for business excellence. She has been associated with IIM CIP as the head of portfolio management since September 2018. At IIM CIP, she excels in managing incubation activities, sourcing, capacity building, and funding of startups. Prior to IIM CIP, she has around more than 18 years of experience in software engineering, working with renowned brands like Intel and IBM. She holds an in-depth knowledge on technical need analysis and strategic development, and holds a great problem-solving attitude and commitment. She has been making meaningful and result-driven contributions to the organization of IIM CIP. Ms. Ghosh, thank you so much for being here and sparing your time. Thank you. Nice to be here. Thank you, thank you so much. We also have with us Mr. Hemant Bora. Mr. Bora joined the IMCIP family as the head of ecosystem development in January, 2020. He is vested with the crucial responsibility of producing and attracting talented entrepreneurs with innovative ideas through planned interventions and activities with the academia, corporate world, the government, and other such stakeholders towards creating a collaborative, cohesive, and organic system that catalyzes the creation of new businesses. He himself is an IIM Calcare alumnus with a triple majors in marketing, systems, and strategy. He brings in the experience of working across multiple industries, geographies, and all parts of the value chain. Being an entrepreneur himself, he understands the challenges of entrepreneurship from the ground level and breeds a passion to bring the ecosystem to his home state, Assam, at par with the entrepreneurial hubs of the country. He has won Six Sigma Black Belt from the American Society for Quality and a Master Black Belt from ISI Bangalore. He is known for his calm composure and unfussy persona and is a great asset for the organization of IMCIP. So thank you so much for spending the time to be here today. I'm sure the students would learn a lot from you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. The, the pleasure is all ours. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before we start, here's a bit that will connect the students with what we at Notebook do best. That's what we've been doing at Notebook, trying to reduce those stacks of books that you typically have in front of you. Well, now that we are done with all that, 
let us start with the competition. The first team up is Bhavan Sarki Sharda Vidya Mandir from Raipur. If I could ask the other participants to please switch off their cameras so that we can have the Bhavan Arkeshadda team on screen. One of you will have to present your screen. So if you could please let me know who that is, I would give you the sharing privileges. Yes, sir. I am presenting. Tejas, Tejas just give me one second. Yes, Tejas. I'll just. Yes, sir. Tejas, you should be able to share your screen now. Is it visible? Yes, they just we can see your screen. Uh, you let me know when you're ready to present and I'll start the timer. Yes, sir, I am ready. All right, they just to the Bhavan Sarkeshada team from Raipur, all the best. Your time for seven minutes starts now. Greetings to all present here. We are here to present our product Microba. A novel system for the dye based detection and algae driven filtration of microplastics present in the drinking water, or a method to eliminate the invincible. We aim to eradicate the microplastic contamination from the drinking water of Indian households by the year 2030. According to the National Geographic, 38,000 to 52,000 microplastics are consumed by a person in a year. A man named Rajiv in our society was constantly reporting the problems of stomachache and heavy breathing. After some scans, it was found that there were many small plastics in his body. So did he eat up his own credit card? No. These plastics entered his body from the drinking water in the form of microplastics. Now microplastics are the plastics with 0.1 micrometer to 5 millimeter in diameter. And due to their extremely small sizes, they're not at all detected or filtered by the current water purification systems and thus are largely present in our drinking water. According to the OM media, 83% of the tested tap water samples showed an average 10 to 15 particles of microplastics per liter contamination. Microplastics may accumulate in our body and may cause cardiovascular diseases, asthma, and even lethal cancer. So to solve this problem, we bring in our solution Micropa. The first part is quantum detect for the quantification and detection of microplastics. It is an efficient and easy to use method, which uses Nile red dye staining technique. The second is microactive for the filtration of microplastics. It provides a greener edge to the current water purification systems as microalgae Rhodomonas salina is used as a filtering agent. Also, it is highly efficient, affordable, and easy to use. Now our product has two variants. Firstly, for firstly D2C or direct to customer, which includes MicroPure, the combined quantification and filtration system, which provides real-time outputs to the users. And second, Contra Detect, a complete kit weighing 0.5 kg, fit with UV light diodes, Nile red dye dispenser, and micro cameras. The second is a business to business model, which includes a filter cartridge fit with nitrocellulose membrane and Rhodomonas salina, which will be implemented in the current water purification systems and will be delivered in different sizes as per the need of the company. Over to Sneha. Thanks, Sages. Our customers are divided into two categories, business to business and direct to among potential customers, primary family income is highest in the urban household. Hence, the insight indicates that the disposal income will also be highest among the general urban population. A survey indicates that the need for a water purifier is mainly felt by the urban households, mainly. Therefore, as a whole, our typical customer is general urban population. Over to Harshil. Thanks, Neha. Our marketing strategy consists of three A's. The first A is awareness. As we are the first generation of microplastic filters, it is necessary for us to introduce the harmful effects of microplastics to, to the general public. For this, we'll publish email newsletters, write blogs, and create affinity audience, people who can be convinced into buying our product, and in-market audience, people who are already searching for similar products. We've used analytical tools like Google Trends to analyze region-wise trends and find my audience to analyze personal interests. The third is advertising. We'll advertise on social media platforms, blogs, and news websites. We'll use tools provided by respect to target required income, personal interest, and other demographics. Over to Vineet. Thanks, Harshit. Speaking of the market share, presently three companies are indirectly working in the filtration of microplastics. 
Firstly, live straw, which is more of a survival tool with less volume. Secondly, RO filters with ionizer technology, which are highly expensive and have high maintenance. Lastly, carbon block filters that are bulky and not suitable for family use. However, our USPs include being a first generation seller, product designed for family use, cheap cost, validation by CSR under Government of India, etc., satisfied various standards and large longevity. Over to Aditya. Thanks, Vineet. To frame our business model, we first identified our addressable market size on the basis of the typical customers, and it stood at a solid 2,500 crore rupees in comparison to the national and global market. We have planned to roll out our model in various stages. We are already done with the proof of the initial hypothesis and are now in the process of scientific development and validation. With this space, we will be able to set up our first manufacturing unit by 2022, and we can definitely produce over a million kits by the end of five years. Also, our prices are very much competitive to any other single cartridges filters out there, but we provide a feature that neither of them does. Talking of our financial model and how the pricing will be doing justice to our future as a business, we would require an amount of rupees 53.5 lakh to start off our venture. This includes the fixed investment and the running cost of three months, which will give us a head start and then get it rolling. Now addressing the interests of the investors, we assure them that with our target advertisement and awareness marketing, we will be able to clock a 10 million rupees profit in the end of five years. Now we know that we are up for a bigger vision apart from making the drinking water microplastic free. The first and foremost point is that the manufacturing of micropa is a, la is a labor intensive task and we surely will provide employment to a large number of skilled and unskilled laborers. We will also recognize and award the communities that come up with initiatives to reduce the use of plastics. Along with this, we pledge to set aside 10% of our annual profits and use it in helping the children who turned orphan due to COVID-19 or tree plantation drives with the help of NGOs who are active in the respective field. Lastly, who are we? We are a team of five ignited minds from Bharti Vidya Bhavans, R.K. Shada Vidya Mandir, Raipur, who have all been working in scientific research and innovation. Each of us has held unique portfolios and added important values to the development of Micropa. Thank you, to listening, uh, thank you for listening to us patiently. The window is now open for your questions and queries. Guys, very, very well done. Very well done. That was fantastic. Uh, you tend to forget, uh, Mr. Bora, I must tell you, I have been watching four previous qualifiers and half the times you tend to forget that these are school students. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it is now time for uh, you and uh, Ms. Ghosh to ask them questions. You have six minutes of Q&A, so please, fire away. All right, I'll go first. Uh, so most of us in our houses have a standard water purifier, right? And they have multiple technologies. They have an RO, they have a UV, they have TDS, and they have God knows what now. They have an RN filter. Now, we're filtering another thing. We're filtering plastics. All right. Is my existing filter not good enough to filter plastics? That's my question number one. All right. And if I were to use your filter, does it mean that I would totally eliminate the use of my filter? If I need all of them, right? If, uh, if I need all those filtration types, how will your product integrate into my existing setup? Because a large number, you talk about number of households they already have an existing filter have you thought of a way by which that integrates into their existing setup yes sir so firstly for your first question it is true that high technology ROs can surely filter the microplastics as they have high filtration rates but not everyone is able to buy such expensive ROs so our product is basically for the filtration of microplastics and as it was stated earlier, our product will be implemented as a B2B implemented in the current water purification systems and will be sold to the consumers. So we will, we will be providing an additional kit to the current water purification companies. And thus all the consumers will be able to get advantage of the existing technologies as well as our additional technology. Perfect. Uh, sir, in case you have any other questions. No, I mean, you got questions. Uh, no, it was an awesome uh, presentation. All the points covered very well. Um, no questions from my side at this point of time. 
All right. Let me share with you one thing, right? Whenever you're marketing and you're talking about social impact, all right, uh, you're trying to do too much in social impact. You know, just focus on one area that you want to focus. Just you said you are you're concerned about the environment. Let us not talk about village improvement. Let us not talk about everything else, right? When you talk about something as focused as your business plan, when you talk of your impact, you also keep your impact absolutely focused. That's the only feedback that I'd give to you guys. All right, you want to work on the environment? Uh, go back to that slide. Go back to the social impact slide. Sorry, uh, Hemant, I also had an observation. I just wanted to tell them. Sure, mommy. No, no, you go ahead, you complete. No, that was just the feedback. It was... Uh, Hmm. That was not a question. All uh, right, and uh, what I had uh, uh, one uh, also feedback. Say so when you were talking about the social impact, this ten percent of the annual profits will be utilized to create social well-being is a good idea, but uh, also try to find out uh, through your um, venture how you are going to uh, create an impact at the uh, base of the pyramid. Yes, ma'am. Through the business only, huh? not uh, through uh, the annual profits. When you talk, it is more like a CSR initiative. But no. before going to the CSR, right, uh, through the products and services, how we can create an impact will be also uh, important. Ma'am, the primary impact and the biggest impact that we'll be creating that with our uh, the base of the pyramid is providing employment. Because as we told that the production of Micropa will be a labor intensive mm. task and it mm. will definitely provide employment mm. to a large number of skilled right. and both unskilled labors. Mm -hmm. Also the program to recognize the communities that uh, take up initiatives to reduce the use of plastic because we, are, we want to eliminate all uh, forms of microplastics from drinking water. So uh, it will be a stage where we will, uh, where our filters will do the task but we also want to ensure that no more plastics go on to the drinking water. Right. And hence yeah. the right. Uh, second part comes in. Right. Yes. Correct. And uh, I don't know what the benchmarks are. I, I don't have it at the top of my head, but 10% of annual profits uh, is a little too much. You will have other uses for your profits as well. You use profits for a lot of other things. You use profits to grow your business. You use grow, uh, profits to increase your... Uh, you know, increase the capacity of your plant, 10% might be a little too much. So you might want to revisit that number. Thank you, yes, sir, for your feedback. Wonderful. Team from Bhavan's RK Shadda Vidya Mandir Raipur. Very, very well done. Congratulations. Uh, I could, I would request to kind of take the screen back now. Right. Thank you. Well, it's time to go on to the next school. Thank you, Team BRK. If you could switch off your cameras and team from CRPF Public School, Rohini, would invite you to please switch on your cameras. Uh, who of you would be making the presentation so that I can give you hosting rights? I will. Shivam? Yes, sir. All right. Done. You should be able to share your screen now, Shalom. Just test it once. Great. You can see your screen. You let me know when you are good to go, and I'll start the timer. Should we start? Are yes, sir. All right. Great. So, team from CRPF Public School, Rohini. All the best. Your time for seven minutes on the clock starts now. Good evening, everyone. Let's start with the presentation now. Generalization and mass manufacturing does not cater to individual needs and choices. Thus, we at Tran Pro offer a spectacular array of products that are customizable. There are everyday solutions that make resources in our life more accessible. In our case, the focus is catering to individual designs as a way to minimize plastic waste of our environment. 
Plastic is a major contributor of global warming and thus, however small our efforts may be, not releasing any sort of waste as a production unit and using a harmful pollutant as our raw material is our small way of preventing the declining health of our nature. The people of this new colorful world love choices they can control, while at the same time being lauded for being mindful of things they use and buy. Thus, we would like to introduce the primary product of our age, individual and as per your comfort, soulmate. How do we start? By 3D printing, of course, which actually makes the manufacturing of the parts way easier than that in physical labor. Where do we start? With our first range of product, that is customizable shoes, focusing on something so unique and designable, fashion industry would be the obvious choice here. Initial funding is expected to be personal as well as from government schemes and loans. As for first customers, we can always count on our family, friends for product feedback and comfort review. However, the most important of our results come from that first customer who walks into our store solely on the virtue of curiosity and need, putting their blind faith in our new product. Making and selling the product, our first and only factory is expected to be set up at industrial location of Delhi, such as its outskirts. For the initial stages, we'll be using both recycled plastic and bioplastic bought from outside sources. 3D printing, as introduced early on, would be our main process of production in this plan, which means the final product would look something like this. By customizing both the top and the bottom parts of the shoe, the final product would look to be an interesting result, wherein, most importantly, the top part would be quite easy to clip on to the bottom. The idea of selling and advertisements is where the actual works come in. This is how we plan to do it. By doing several trial campaigns at the mall and at private markets, we'll be ensuring physical feedback and response from our product. Social media collaborations in this day and age could be very necessary to advertise our product. We are planning to team up with different types of YouTube channels and influencers to market our in exchange of personal merchandise ideas. Online and offline adverts will be in the form of posters and advertisements, both digitally and in physical situation. In the end, the most important way our product will gain any traction will be from word of the mouth from our customers who are satisfied with our work, which makes it even more imperative to be more creative and give our best. Now, like all business plans, we start by getting customers, which then brings us to taking orders the solution we came up with for this is to have a personal for brand website of sorts that will help us in taking orders and collecting companies and feedback from our customers more easily. The process of production of our shoes would be next, followed by delivery, which is via VFast for in Delhi and FedEx for Pan India. Initially, we will work towards establishing ourselves in Delhi. However, when we get a good response, we will not be hesitant to expand our base and we'll be keen on taking orders pan India. For the business, we'll have the initial capital of 15 lakh with 16 lakh investments for our first batch. Our revenue after production and delivery would be 15 lakh, wherein 1 lakh is the estimated net loss. Total money we would now have is 13 lakhs, from which 11 lakhs will be reinvested in making the next batch. Here, we can clearly see the green line, which indicates money in hand and purple line which indicates revenue. At the point of having 60 lakhs money in hand, we will now be able to commence to stage two. Stage two. This stage is all about finding ourselves more independent. By setting up another factory, this stage includes making our own filament and finding significant reduction of our input cost. This stage also brings us to finding a more satisfactory source for our raw material, that is recycled plastic. By tying up with several NGOs that work with drag pickers in particular, we plan on buying our source material straight from the on-ground workers. This ensures that we create a system of co-benefits that ensures a steady source of income for these people who are made to do a job so uncertain, while at the same time getting a quality raw material from a much cheaper source instead of buying from the companies. We can now also expand our product ranges and ideas to other customizable markets, for example, casual accessories, keychains, phone covers, bottles, and figurines. The market for the same year is immense and fulfilling. 
it's a beautiful yet overlooked truth that in whatever work we venture in the only limit can be our imagination our team a business team is made up of driven passionate students invested behind the idea the business plan needs people who are adaptive and diligent constantly on the move and resourceful to find solutions for everyday problems with the same idea our team consists of students thrilled to do their best we have webhav handling our production processes shivam as a finance manager and i samvardhan tiwari your presenter would be the overall management head and would be also looking after the hr management manishka would be handling our marketing and advertisement the both would be very important in building up that necessary, necessary rapport and trust with our customers and lastly i darki would be handling your sales and distribution in the end we all have a long hard work ahead of us it's entirely possible that the idea we have might not end up being something people click with however associated with every risk there is always the fear of failure as students of this generation we would be delighted to give our fellow citizens the power of choice and opportunity to decide their own style to own up the perception of who they are while supporting the world all we need is just a chance thank you everyone now we are open to your queries thank you for your attention CRP a public school very very well done particularly very well timed i don't know how many times you rehearsed to get this right it was 6 minutes 57 seconds right i would now request the judges to please uh, ask you their questions all right uh, i'll go first again uh, so when you buy a pair of sneakers right or shoes what are the things that you look for the comfort the durability Comfort. Design. For fashion, fashion choice and style of our own, and what suits us the best. All right. Uh, see, this is a very interesting concept where you recycling plastic into you recycling plastic into filaments and then making shoes. Adidas does, uh, you know, Adidas makes shoes which they use from which they use plastics which come out of the oceans. I'm sure you've re you researched on that. Now. Uh, if you research a little longer you'll notice that you know different shoes are made with different materials so when you're playing basketball a couple of you play basketball right so there are different kinds of shoes there are different kinds of shoes for running there are different kinds of shoes for uh you know for you know for your gym there are different kinds of shoes for playing tennis right and uh, what are the things you're doing to make sure you have when you say it's a shoe it's a different all all these are different kinds of shoes right what are you doing to ensure that the materials that you use uh are they all 3d printable number 2 uh if they are all not 3 3d printable right what are the other things that you've thought about mm -hmm. in order to bring in that range of products now there is a difference between a 200 rupee shoe a 2000 rupee shoe and a 20000 rupee pair of shoes right so where are you going to fit in in the price point where are you going to compete in the price point we are going to compete for the 300 3000 k mark 3000 rupees mark and we'll be focusing on mostly the sneakers uh, the customers for sneakers we'll expand our markets into sports shoes and other kinds of shoes but initially we'll be focusing on casual wears and sneakers with a price point of 3000 perfect perfect so i would like to add one more point so you mentioned adidas of course that's a you know really good competitor and considering that we are a startup here but our main emphasis here is on you know customizable shoes and other stuff when you when you compare the prices with big companies like adidas nike they are very costly like when compared and to the masses it's just like you're buying their shoes from retail shops here we are providing much more better quality according to us and uh, we are catering to the personal needs of the customer the in, there is a power of choice behind in which of aesthetic and the mass manufacturing data okay i'll uh, leave you with a small idea okay now the latest iphones have lidars where you could use the distance sensors and you could accurately make a 3d scan out of anything it's going to get better in the next version of the iphone that same technology is going to be used in all phones going forward now what if somebody could just scan their feet send you an image and they could customize it on an app and then order their shoes and tell you okay i need this shoe i need this pair of shoes for playing basketball 
Mm-hmm. Work your way backwards That's into very cool, it. Like That's a very good idea. Work your way backwards into the production process. That's what I'd like to do with. Uh-huh. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Miss Ghosh, if you have any questions. Uh, yeah, uh, starting to work up. Uh, so can you uh, just quickly uh, go back to your uh, market potential slide? Ma'am, this. Acha. Ha. And um, this is revenue cost. I think you meant the different markets we are expanding to. Uh, so, uh, no, as you said, right, your uh, market segment is uh, mostly uh, around uh, a pair of sneakers uh, around 3,000 rupees, right? That's what you meant. That's what you say, right? That is your target customer segment. Yes, ma'am. Is that correct? Okay, so uh, what is the uh, I means total market size and the addressable market size? Have you done any study on that? Ma'am, we did a survey of uh, 400 people and 250 of them were uh, giving us 3000K for a customized shoe. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, revenue and cost you have a and, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you have done your cost profit analysis for the uh, shoe segment to start with. Now, for the other uh, products that you want to uh, bring into the market on a later stage, you have not done much uh, research on that. Is that right? Yes, it's right. We okay. have not done okay. Much okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Wonderful. Those were the questions from the judges. CRK Public School Rohini. Very interesting concept. Very well done. I look forward to wearing those stickers sometime. Uh, mm-hmm. We'll move on to our next school. Thank you, sir. 10% discount for you, sir. Just 10%. <laughs> no, some more. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, we'll move on to Indian Language School Lagos. Uh, the discerning audience would realize that I'm not asking for the audience poll right now. We've changed the format a bit. We'll see all the three presentations and then ask you for your ratings. Indian Language School Lagos, welcome. Uh, I can see three cameras on. And there's Sonia. Great. There's four of you in the team, right? Five. Five. Ah. Yes, all five are here. Great. Uh, who would be making the presentation so that I can give you... Oh, sir, right? I would be sharing the presentation. Thank you, sir. All right, my Great. You can see your screen, Mayank, and uh, you let me know when you're ready to start. Sir, I guess you can start right now. Ready. Great. Indian language school, Lagos, all the best. If you're ready, your time for seven minutes starts now. Innovation is progress in the face of tradition. Greetings for the day to all. Today, we, a team of innovative thinkers from Indian Language School, would be presenting our creative idea. Before we begin, we would like to thank Notebook for this wonderful opportunity to present our idea. Meet Sarah. She is a professional for whom meetings are an integral part of the routine. She is vulnerable to heat exhaustion, and this affects her overall performance. The sweltering heat is extremely difficult and frustrating for her to endure. Do I still need to tell you how it would affect her professionally? Well, we have a solution for this. With immense pride, introducing to you the new Helios, sustainability on wheels. Parking under the sun causes discomfort to the passenger once they come back after a few hours of leaving their vehicle out under the sun for a long time. Heat strokes, the most serious heat-related illness, occurs when the body's temperature is 104 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. And if not treated immediately, heat stroke can damage multiple organs and organ systems, including the brain and the nervous system. 
To get away with this, one will likely turn on the AC at maximum power, which will certainly increase fuel consumption. The aim of our product is to power the vehicle using solar energy to not only bring down the ambient temperature of the car, but at the same time also cater to reducing the use and demand for fossil fuels. Our product features a detachable solar panel that is to be placed on top of the car and is to be connected with the car battery, which helps provide power to the AC of the car. The working of our product can be explained in a few simple steps. First, when the car is switched off, the solar panel placed on top of the car will continuously convert solar energy to electrical energy, charging your car battery. This energy stored in the car battery helps to power the vehicle's air conditioners. 20 to 30 minutes before entering, you can switch on the ACs in your vehicle using our application, which you can install on your mobile device or tablet. You can even remotely handle the AC controls and increase or decrease the AC power according to your preferences. Our mobile app provides a secure and remote connection to your vehicle to facilitate control of the air conditioners. Moreover, it also provides data about the battery percentage. As our product installation is a little tricky and technical, we will provide installation and maintenance facilities. Our team cares about the services we provide and take the responsibility of providing efficient customer service. Our product will be affordable. And as our government has no strict regulations on implementations of solar products, the device will be widely available through our extensive distribution channels. The renewable energy industry is expected to see market growth, which will drive solar power market extension and development in tropical zones in our country during the forecast period. More than 230 million four-wheelers currently run in India alone. So you can only imagine how big of a market we will approach with this product. As implicated from the market survey, 88% of respondents are frustrated with this issue and 92% of them are willing to modify their car. Remember Sarah? She is an example of what our ideal customer looks like. She would willingly agree to modify her car to cope with the frustrating heat and also would like to contribute in helping the environment by reducing her carbon footprint. Hence, fulfilling our vision, sustainability on wheels. We will be marketing our products using social media, targeted advertisements, radio advertisements, and demo on calls. A working demonstration of the product in malls, car shows, and trade fairs will help to circulate the product to so many different potential customers. Establishing tie-ups with different vehicle dealership companies, mostly second-hand vehicle dealership companies, will help to escalate the product and increase the business venture. Following this, we have touched upon the four P's of marketing. Our plan is centered around an eco-friendly model in the automobile industry. And this makes our competitors the companies that manufacture electric and hybrid vehicles. What gives our product an edge is that it is an innovative solution to a targeted problem that people face daily. The product we are handling is economically feasible and can be an added feature in any four-wheeler model. Its detachable design and easy control are a definite plus. Now it's time to discuss what matters the most, the Mula. After meticulous research, we were able to place the price of our product at 20,801 rupees. The greater proportion of our revenue from operations comes from our sales and remaining portion is from the investment of excess profits and commission from sponsored advertisements on our app. Here is the SWOT analysis of the product. We can infer from the SWOT analysis that our product is fuel efficient, cost effective, and focuses on renewing energy, thus being eco-friendly. We as a team will be working towards converting our weaknesses to opportunities and strengths. We at Helios aim to fulfill our corporate social responsibility 
by saving the environment while dealing with a relevant problem. Moreover, as petroleum prices continue increasing, solar panel usage will provide us with great economical benefits in the long run. Meet the team. Now, we would like to open the floor for questions. Thank you. Well done, team from ILS Lagos. Uh, I would now invite both the judges to please question the team. Perfect. Uh, very well thought out. I have a couple of questions, right? So the current, uh, currently all our cars, their air conditioners are powered by the uh, engine. So mm -hmm. are you installing a different air conditioner to keep the car cool when we're out? Or is it going to power the same uh, air conditioning unit? Yes, sir. So thank you for the question. Uh, our uh, method is to con connect the solar panel to the battery of the car. Mm -hmm. And this battery is one that helps to run the compressors and does the AC runs in the vehicle. So what we are doing is 15 to 20 minutes before you enter the vehicle, when the vehicle is already heated up with a lot of heat in the interiors, we are going to allow you to switch on the ACs in the vehicle using our application. And by this, what happens is the solar energy that continuously keeps charging the battery helps you to prevent yourself from using fuel to run the ACs. So this way you're actually reducing fuel consumption and you're actually increasing the usage of AC without um, harming the environment as such. Okay, so there is a motor that powers the compressor, right? Yes. Got it. And it's connected to the battery. Hmm. It's connected to the battery. Now, uh, second question. Uh, if you are installing a solar panel on the roof, is it going to look very fancy? It is going to be a complicated installation. Mm -hmm. Plus, you're going to violate a few uh, safety rules, right? You need to comply to certain rules, ARAI rules in India. You will have a problem with that. So have you thought of the concept of solar paint? A lot of cars... Hello? Yeah, a lot of cars okay. want to paint their no, roof. No, 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 sure. yeah. A lot of cars you see on the road, they want yeah. to black their roof. So have you thought of something like solar paint? Won't that be an okay. easier thing? Okay. Sir, okay. we okay. also want to... We also want to concentrate on the efficiency. And as far as our research goes, we have found out that solar panels as such provide the best efficient um, result. And we also thought of solar mats, but they, they're not as efficient as they're supposed to be. So right now, as we go with our research forward, we may find some better alternative as uh, technology keeps progressing. But so far, solar panels as such are the ones that are much more efficient. So we are uh, going with that. I'm not sure it's a correct answer or not, but it's a very good answer. Well answered. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, in case you have any questions. Ma'am, you have to unmute yourself. Ms. Kosh, are you there? Mom, are you there? I guess she's. Uh, uh, sorry, gone. sorry, I got a call and I'm so sorry. I was uh, unmute. I think uh, unmuted. Um, I just. Uh, hmm. Somebody want them to open the presentation once again? Uh, no, 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 I'm good. Uh, so I was just thinking, I think uh, a part of the question was already asked by Hemant. Uh, but uh, uh, so uh, one thing, uh, are you going to do this uh, only retrofits or are you planning to also tie up with the car companies? What are your plans? Means is it going to be a B2C or a mix of B2C and B2B? Um, thank you for the question, ma'am. This uh, project is basically a B2B trade because we are actually uh, taking, a, like we are calling or taking, um, sorry, we are actually uh, supporting or we are taking the help of the car dealership companies and especially the car second hard car dealership companies who will be helping us with this project. 
car uh, with the dealership companies okay yeah the, with the second hand okay. car dealership companies yeah so that right. they could use a car efficiently or their car in a more efficient way right okay yeah i'm good thank you thank you thank you so much ma'am uh while i was listening to your presentation this popped into my head this is stupid card you guys give sunroof a whole new meaning <laughs> well team from ils lagos very very well done uh well it is now time for the judges to put in the scores in the score sheet i have received some of the scores uh, from both the judges if you could also put in those scores now it is also time for the audience to get into the game so we are going to put up polls for each one of those schools and you get to vote for them you get to rate them out of 20 the judges are scoring our teams out of 100 you get to score them out of 20 and the teams get the total scores out of 120 you're right now giving the scores to bhavan sarthi sharda vidya mandir from raipur i will leave this poll on for 60 seconds we hope that's enough time for everybody to vote if not we'll just leave it for 90 seconds because that's what we've given all of the teams as well but 30 seconds in we are at about 60 percent polls so our voting percentages are still better than most democracies in the world About a minute in, and we have received 75% of the votes. The rest 25%, don't be shy. This is a great way to show your appreciation or your criticism of the ideas that you've heard today. Just the nice last five seconds for Bhavan Sarkar Shadya Vidyamandir from Raipur. And that's 90 seconds. I shall end this one. But stay on your screens because now coming up on your screen is a poll for CRPF Public School. Please put in your scores for CRPF Public School. We have about 425 people in the audience. So that's a lot of voting that's going on. This is how practice helps. The first sort of voting, people got a little more used to it. Now it's 30 seconds in, we've got 67% of the votes. You're voting for CRPF public school teams performance. You're voting for their score out of 20. You can create them either five on 20, 10 on 20, or 15 on 20, or 20 on 20. Those are your four options. We are about a minute in. Just 20 more seconds to go. Seventy-five percent of people have voted. Five more seconds left, and that's time. So that's the polling for CRP Public School. And now, coming up on your screen, ladies and gentlemen, please put in your scores for Indian Language School, Lagos. Ten seconds in. Fifty-five percent of people have voted. If there was ever an experiment on learning curves, I think this qualifies. Thirty seconds in, we've got seventy-five percent of the votes in the bag. The rest twenty-five percent do not wait. Again, you're rating Indian language school Lagos' performance. You're rating them out of twenty. You can rate them 5, 10, 15, or 20, based on what you thought of their idea in their presentation.
there about a minute in. Twenty more seconds. I believe uh, both the judges have put in all their scores into the scoring sheet. The last few seconds, and that's time. Right. So I have the audience polls for all the three teams. I have the judges' scores for all the three teams. It is now time to request the judges. To please give their feedback, their thoughts on all the three ideas that they have heard today, and in general, any advice to the young entrepreneurs we have here. Uh, just trying to summarize my thoughts here. Uh, very good quality of ideas, all right. And sometimes, uh, you know, when you're making these presentations, it is very easy to get carried away with, you know, I want to make it like a perfect business plan, but you know, all you have to do to narrate your story is stay true to what the customer really wants, all right? Next time, whenever you're making a presentation, always think about what is it that the customer really wants? What is the need of the customer that you're solving? Then figure out how many customers have such a need and how you're going to solve that need and that is going to give you your revenues, right? The biggest financer that you're ever going to have is your customer. All right. And yes, these are a few things which even I have done in my past. But honestly, when I was in class 11 and 12, I wasn't as smart as you guys. So you guys deserve a round of applause from my side. All right. Best of luck. Keep thinking this way. Keep cracking problems. You'll, you'll get there. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Ms. Hirsch, over to you. Yeah, a very good presentations. I mean, so the way you have thought about a problem, the solution, and uh, uh, put a business plan, it was commanding. And again, thank you very much, Notebook, for this platform. Uh, the students getting an opportunity to uh, learn about entrepreneurship, making a business plan at this young age is uh, very, very uh, um, necessary. And uh, you are doing an excellent job. And coming back uh, to your uh, problem, uh, identifying a problem and uh, thinking of a solution, uh, uh, you have done it well, but uh, you could do better, I think. Uh, to do it better, you need to uh, explore a lot, explore a lot of, uh, uh, you know, explore a lot uh, um, uh, in the ground also talking to people, talking to your potential customers, um, making a pro before making a product, thinking through it, what the customer needs as Heman said, right? And going there slowly and steadily. All the best to all of you. I enjoyed the session thoroughly today. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for that. Well, I know you guys are eagerly, eagerly waiting for your scores. But uh, you guys have met me before, and you know I'm not going to make that make it that easy for you, right? So before we can show you this course today, here is somebody who has heard you before, has heard you today, would like to talk to you. Before that, just a little bit about Notebook. We at Notebook are an edtech company. We make short videos about your school curriculum. Now, how this helps you? It makes your life a little easier when you're studying. You get videos pertaining to every topic of every subject in your school and right on your mobile phones or laptops or whatever device you have. What I'm going to do now is play you a selection of snippets from some notebook videos. It will take just a couple of minutes, but it will give you a great idea of what notebook content actually looks like. Here it goes. Namaste, bachcho. Notebook mein aapka swagat hai. Is nai video ko aapke saamne prasthut karte huye hume behat khushi ho rahi hai. हमारा उद्देश्य है परंपरागत शिक्षा को आधुनिक तरीके से पेश करना ताकि हमारी ये नई पीढ़ी या आप सभी कहीं भी कभी भी इसे आसानी से पढ़ सकें हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द स्टोरी मैडम राइड्स द बस रिटन बाय वल्ली द किंग लुई द 16th हैड कम टू पावर इन 1774 एट ओनली 20 इयर्स ऑफ एज द किंग हेल्प्ड द 13 अमेरिकन कॉलोनीज gain independence from britain curly brown hair turning permanently black if you memorize this line 
It will help you remember the ratios all your life. How? Let's see. Some people have is a way of remembering sign is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse. Write energy for everything you do throughout the day. Next is the nucleus, the brain of the cell. This is where all the secrets are stored. Why do you think you have black eyes as your parents? Aha! Thank the nucleus. Whoa! What is this? We are going to drown. Don't worry. You are not going to drown. This is the cytoplasm. Sometimes, a fully grown individual such as hydra or planaria or starfish can give rise to a complete individual from its body parts. Isn't this interesting? नोटबुक में आप सभी का पुनः स्वागत है नमस्ते वेल एंड सिंस ऑल ऑफ यू आर मॉर्निंग ऑनटरप्रेन्योर्स शेयर कॉलिंग ऑन ऑनटरप्रेन्योर फॉर थॉट ऑफ नोटबुक वाचिन भट्टाचार्य इज द फाउंडर एंड सीईओ ऑफ नोटबुक अ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट बाय ट्रेनिंग वाचिन वाज अ डायरेक्टर एट डिलॉइट प्राइ टू स्टार्टिंग नोटबुक ही वर्क्ड इन इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड इन सीनियर कैपेसिटीज इन ऑल द फोर बिग कंसल्टेंट्स वेल वाचिन यू हैव हर्ड देम प्रेजेंट Let us know what you think. Over to you. I think a uh, really wonderful session. So all the three schools, CRPF Public School, Rohini, Bhavans, R K Sharda, Vidya Mandir, and Indian Language School, Lagos. And I really a, a round of applause from my side. Wonderful, I must say. So if first and foremost, what is very important is the kind of confidence that I saw. You know. uh you know young friends that's the best part of it that's that's the most important takeaway also some very logical uh, thought process the courage to dream big and also uh, during the presentation i really noticed that uh, you know wonderful presentation great voice modulation articulation and the entire spirit of innovation see at the end of the day it's not about winning or losing and uh, you know what your scores are your scores only reflect your performance as of today to me what is most important is that the the objective of this event is actually to trigger a chain of thoughts so this entire culture of entrepreneurship that we are trying to encourage i think that to me is the most important thing and 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 we really are so happy to see uh how this entire event was and i said this is one of our you know good session undoubtedly some great input from the judges as well i sincerely thank uh, both of our esteemed judges uh, mr hamanto bora as well as uh, namami ghosh for their some wonderful inputs and i think they also summed it up very well you know uh, the last two concluding remarks that i heard that uh, what the customer wants of course that is, is is undoubtedly the most important thing where is the need gap you know are we actually servicing a need can we do something which will be sustainable scalable uh, down the line so i think uh, and wonderful and also the fact that yes uh, these are good presentations and of course we can do them better but considering the fact today if i look at your age the fact that you are still in school so what you have done is undoubtedly commendable hats off to all of you so as other parties i also sincerely thank uh, the esteemed principal for encouraging this event and also uh, a round of applause uh, and my heartiest congratulation to your teachers and parents so when i see such wonderful performances i understand how much of hard work how much of mentoring has gone behind each of you so really wonderful some great effort so and and performances like this really inspire us to to conduct events because when we were thinking of this on the last year we did the zero hour debate which many of you have participated in so uh, when we were thinking of this particular event uh, you really wondering that when you discussing about presenting a business plan how how children how children from school how much they will be able to actually come up and perform but uh, we had full confidence in in you know young learners and you guys have really proved that yes our decision to hold this event was was really really correct i also thank i am cip for for being our our knowledge partners and for really helping us conceptualize the entire event a lot of credit actually goes to them 
So I think uh, wonderful Thank session. You. Over to you, Shivaji. I think the audience is really waiting for the results, and so are all of us, all of us. So over to you. Well, I guess it is now time for me to really end the suspense. This is how the teams stacked up today. Bhavan Sarkar and Shadhya Vidya Mandir from Raipur. You got 79 from the judges and 13 from the audience. CRPF Public School Rohini, 69 from the judges and 12 from the audience. Indian Language School Lagos, 62 from the judges and 17 from the audience, bringing your totals to 92, 80, and 78. As you know, there's a leaderboard. We have 64 schools and you're looking for a spot in the top 24. This particular episode, we have found three in the current top five. That's how good you guys were. Brilliant. Very well done. Congratulations all around to all the three teams. Uh, one of you wanted to clean water of microplastics. One of you wanted to recycle plastic into shoes. And the third wanted to use solar power for car ACs. So like, you know, cricket commentators like to say at the end of the match, the planet wins at the end of the day. Well, this has been a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much. A huge thank you to the judges for sparing your time. It's been... Thank you, everybody. Thank All you. the best. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations all around. I will see you all tomorrow at our qualifier number six, which happens at 3 p.m. India time. Until then, please take care and goodbye. Bye-bye.